Assalamu alaikum dear students fine by the grace of Allah today I am here for class 5 English version students so students today I'll be discussing about chapter 13 of your elementary science book that is natural resources so students let's start this chapter so students now we are in chapter 13 natural resources so at first in the first lesson we will be able to know about our resources what type of resources do you have in our country the, for example like natural resources like food clothing etc man-made resources then in the second lesson we will be able to know about the wise use of natural resources how we can use wisely this natural resources and what are the alternative resources for the fossil fuels or non-renewable resources then now students let's go through the exercises of this chapter so elementary science class 5 chapter 13 natural resources so at first we'll go through some mcqs number one which one is a natural resource a sand b paper c glass d electricity the answer will be a said number two which resource is limited a the sun b coal c wind d water the answer will be b coal number three which technology is used for getting electricity from the sunlight a solar panel b wind turbine c dam d electric fan the correct answer will be a solar panel number four which one is a man-made resource a rock b animals c tree d glass the correct answer will be D class. Now students, let's go through some short question answers. Number one, give five examples of man-made resources. Answer, here are five examples of man-made resources. Number one, roads. Number two, bridge. Number three, buildings. Number four, vehicles. Number five, technology. Second question, give three examples of the alternatives to non-renewable resources. Answer. Here are three examples of alternatives to non renewable resources. Number one, solar energy. Number two, wind energy. Number three, hydropower. Third question. How can we use natural resources wisely? Answer. Here are some strategies to use natural resources wisely. Number one, reduce, reuse, recycle. Number two, conservation. Fourth question, what is man-made resource? Answer, man-made resources are materials or products created by humans through the application of labor, technology or knowledge. These resources are often derived from natural resources but we, sorry, but have been transformed or processed in some way. Fifth short question, here, where do man-made resources come from? Answer. Man-made resources typically originate from natural resources. These natural resources are then processed, transformed or combined to create the desired man-made product. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. Number one, why do renewable resources become alternatives to non-renewable resources? Answer, renewable resources are becoming increasingly attractive alternatives to non-renewable resources due to several compelling reasons. Number one, climate change. Non-renewable resources, particularly fossil fuels, are a major contributor to climate change through greenhouse gas emissions. Renewable energy sources, on the other hand, produce significantly lower or no emissions, helping to mitigate climate change and its associated consequences. Number two, pollution. The extraction, processing, and conversion of non-renewable resources often lead to air, water, and soil pollution. Renewable energy sources generally have a much smaller environmental footprint. Second question, why do people need to use natural resources wisely? It will be natural resources. Answer. Humans rely on natural resources for survival and well-being. However, the way we can use these resources can have a significant impact on our planet and future generations. Here are some key reasons why we need to use natural resources wisely. Habitat destruction. Overexploitation of natural resources can lead to habitat destruction which can result in loss of biodiversity. When ecosystems are disrupted, many species face extinction. Then, second point, ecosystem services. Biodiversity is essential for maintaining healthy ecosystem that provide services like pollination, water purification and climate regulation. Third question, how does natural resource and man-made resource alike and different? 
Similarities Number 1. Utility Both natural and man-made resources are used to fulfill human needs and wants. Number 2. Scarcity While the abundance of some resources may vary, both natural and man-made resources can be limited or scarce. Number 3. Economic value Both types of resources have economic value and can be traded or exchanged. Differences Natural resources These resources are naturally occurring and exist without human intervention. Examples include minerals, forests, water, and wildlife. Man-made resources These resources are created by humans through the application of labor and technology. Examples include machinery, buildings, roads, and manufactured goods. Fourth question, what natural and man-made resources do you need to build a beautiful house? Answer, building a beautiful house requires a combination of natural and man-made resources. Here are some examples, natural resources like land, trees, stones, minerals, water. Man-made resources like building materials, machinery and equipment, tools, labor, technology. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and also don't forget to subscribe. And our new video will be from chapter 14, Population and Natural Environment. You all are invited to watch that video. See you soon. Assalamu alaikum.